Hey everyone, welcome back to another video where I'll be sharing how I incorporate mindful saving habits into my daily life. I'm excited to take you along today as we slow down, focus on simple, intentional choices, and talk about how these small habits can really add up over time, helping us save money without sacrificing the joy in our everyday moments. So, after running a few errands this morning, I stopped by the grocery store to pick up some items we were running low on. Even though inflation has eased a bit, I've noticed that prices aren't quite what they used to be. I don't expect them to return to pre-pandemic levels, so careful budgeting and mindful spending have become more important than ever. Living near three major grocery stores has really helped me because I can compare prices and choose the best deals without going too far out of my way. For a small household like ours, with limited storage space, I rarely buy in bulk. I used to think bulk shopping was always the best way to save, but what I've learned over time is that having large quantities of things like food can sometimes lead to waste. I prefer to shop for what we can realistically use within a week or two, which helps me avoid spoilage and ultimately unnecessary spending. As I walk through the store, I always remind myself that branding can have a big impact on how we perceive quality. When it comes to essentials like flour, rice, or canned goods, I've found that generic brands are often just as good as the big names, and they can save me quite a bit over time. Of course, there are certain things where I don't mind paying a bit more for quality, but for basic staples, I've learned that opting for the lower-priced version often works just as well. It's all about balance and knowing where it makes sense to splurge a little and where you can save without sacrificing much. Once I got home, I unpacked the groceries and spent a little time tidying up. I've always believed that creating a peaceful and beautiful home is a form of self-care. And part of that for me is keeping fresh flowers around the house. There's something about walking into a room and seeing a simple bouquet that lifts my mood. But flowers can be expensive, right? So here's what I do. I buy the premium, more expensive bouquets only for special occasions. For everyday use, I pick up an affordable bunch from the grocery store, and it still adds that same warmth to the space. By being strategic about where I buy and when, I get to enjoy fresh blooms without breaking the bank. It's these little decisions, like choosing when and where to spend, that have helped me stay mindful about my budget while still enjoying life's simple pleasures. You don't have to give up what you love. You just have to be thoughtful about how and when you indulge. Another habit that's become second nature in our household is saving energy. Living in Finland, I've adopted the common practice of hang drying laundry, which saves us the need for a dryer. Our bathroom is great for this, even in the summer when the floor heating is turned off. It's a simple adjustment that not only cuts down on electricity costs, but also feels more sustainable. I don't iron linens or even some of my clothes unless absolutely necessary. Another small but impactful choice. These small energy-saving habits, like turning off lights when leaving a room or unplugging devices when they're not in use, have become part of our daily rhythm without feeling like sacrifices. When you think about it, Energy conservation doesn't have to mean making drastic changes to your lifestyle. It's the small, everyday habits that add up over time, helping us save money while living more sustainably. Another tip that has saved me a lot over the years is shopping off-season. This morning, for example, I bought a couple of dresses that were on sale because it's late summer, and retailers are clearing out their summer stock to make way for fall. Shopping off-season is one of my favorite ways to save money without feeling like I'm missing out on anything. The key is to not be tempted by every sale. It's easy to get caught up in a good deal, but I always take a moment to ask myself, do I really need this? Will I wear it or use it long-term? This mindful approach to spending ensures that I'm not wasting money on things I'll regret later. As the day rolled on, I turned my attention to lunch. I'm making a simple sandwich with pesto and prosciutto today, and I'm using some of the fresh tomatoes from our balcony garden. There's something so satisfying about picking your own produce, 
even if it's just a few tomatoes or herbs. It's a small way to connect with nature while saving a little on groceries. When it comes to managing our grocery budget, I found that creating a meal plan and keeping things simple in the kitchen is key. I don't do big meal preps or freeze things for later, but I do make planned leftovers, especially when cooking dinner. This way, I have something for lunch the next day, which cuts down on the temptation to buy takeout or spend money on eating out. It's a small habit, but it saves both time and money. There are days when cooking can feel like a chore, but knowing how to whip up quick, satisfying meals keeps us from falling into the trap of ordering takeout, which can quickly add up. Plus, I save the convenience of takeout for the days when I really need it, like when I'm too tired to cook. Speaking of small indulgences, my husband and I used to visit cafes all the time. It felt like a little treat, but those small purchases started adding up without us even realizing it. Now, I bake at home more often, and we enjoy our afternoon coffee or tea right here, in the comfort of our kitchen. It's easy to overlook how quickly those little expenses can add up, especially when it comes to things like daily coffee runs or spontaneous splurges. By tracking those small indulgences, I've gained a clearer picture of where our money is going, and we've been able to reduce those extra costs without feeling deprived. Turning waste into value. One more thing I've embraced is finding ways to turn potential waste into something valuable. For example, this afternoon I made lemon curd for the macarons I'm baking, which only uses the egg yolks. Instead of wasting the egg whites, I use them to make the macarons themselves. It's a small, creative way to make the most of what I have on hand, and it saves me from buying extra ingredients unnecessarily. When we think about saving money, it often feels like this huge, overwhelming task. But I've learned that it doesn't have to be. Just like drops of water filling a bucket, small, consistent habits add up over time. Whether it's turning off lights, choosing generic brands, or planning meals in advance, each little effort brings us closer to our financial goals. The best part? None of these habits feel restrictive. In fact, they've become a natural part of our daily routine simple actions that make life feel more intentional and grounded. By adopting mindful saving habits, we not only save money, but also live with greater awareness, appreciating what we have and making space for what truly matters. Thank you so much for joining me today and taking this journey into mindful living. I hope these tips inspire you to embrace small changes that can make a big difference in your financial life. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. See you in the next one.